Greetings and good evening. On Saturday, French police fired tear gas to disperse protesters who threw projectiles and set bins on fire in Paris, Lyon, and Bordeaux as the 14th straight weekend of yellow vest protests turned violent. French authorities said four people were injured after a driver tried to force his way through a crowd of protesters. In Paris, protesters and police clashed at the Esplanade des Invalides as the protesters marched towards the Eiffel Tower. In Bordeaux and Lyon, police also fired tear gas and charge in order to disperse violent protesters who threw projectiles, set fire to bins, and destroyed properties. U.S. backfighters in Syria are poised to capture Daesh's last small enclave on the Euphrates, which will bring its self-declared caliphate to the brink of total defeat. Gia Furat, a Syrian Democratic Forces SDF battle commander, said the force had cornered the remaining militants near the Iraqi border and is firing on them from all sides. He added that the news of the military end of Daesh will spread around the world in the coming few days. He was speaking after U.S. President Donald Trump said on Friday there would be great announcements about Syria over the next 24 hours. That's all the news for now. I'm Razi Ahmad and thank you for watching.